According to a prominent ex-employee, Netflix has on at least one occasion refused to hire a white guy because they quote, have too many white people, end quote. It's just the most on-the-nose, racist hiring quote I think I've ever heard. Earlier today, the YouTuber known as the Primogen was reading a Lunduke Journal article during one of his shows. Uh, here's a little screen grab of the, the Primogen reading an article entitled Python Bans Prominent Dev for Enjoying the Wrong SNL Sketch from the Lunduke Journal. Because, quite frankly, you just can't cover computer news without at least a couple times a month quoting the Lunduke Journal. You just can't do it. You can't do it, and the Primogen knows that because he's a smart guy. Anyway, around the four-minute mark of this particular Primogen video, who had previously, by the way, he worked at Netflix for, for many years. I think he's talked about it a, a great deal. He stated the following. He made the following statement. I'm going to read to you verbatim. Quote, I was sitting in a meeting with two managers, and I had the managers at Netflix say, I will not hire this white guy because we have too many white people. So I don't know how to tell you that, other than I literally heard that from not one, but two managers at Netflix out of their mouth right in front of me." End quote. Holy heavens. Now, obviously, that is just such an intense quote. Obviously, this is merely one statement from one former employee. But, but, it is an incredibly prominent former Netflix employee. And Netflix has made it very public, such as in their regular inclusion reports, which I linked to from the article over at the Lunduke Journal, so you can read it yourself. They have made it clear that hiring fewer white people is a specific official goal of the company, and they chart their progress against that goal in their yearly <laughs> inclusion reports. Likewise, we've seen many other tech companies with very similar hire fewer white people goals goals, including both IBM and Red Hat. Uh, see the IBM and Red Hat leaks, by the way. If you haven't read all of those, the Lunduke Journal published a huge amount of whistleblower uh, information from both IBM and Red Hat uh, over the last uh, eight, nine months or so. And it is just absolutely massive how much crazy racist stuff came out of Red Hat and IBM. It's nuts. Anyway, add those things all together and this story from the primogen becomes extremely believable like it's just it's just completely it's so believable it's almost weird that we don't have a hundred other similar stories coming out about this it's just so it's just incredibly believable um now i'm going to repeat this sentence because it is so very important quote i will not hire this white guy because we have too many white people I just, I, it's just so simple and so on the nose in terms of racist hiring practices at tech companies. It's just basically what they do. Um, now, uh, uh, two, two quick little observations here. Uh, just very simple observations. The first is that that is racism, right? It is by definition that is racism. There's no avoiding that. Whatever you think of of hiring practices based on skin color and saying, I won't hire that person because we got too many of those, those people. Anyway, whatever you think of that, it's still racism. So I, I think we need to all understand that by definition, racism. Okay, the, the second thing. Other companies, including Red Hat and IBM, are currently being sued by both former employees and the government for very similar activities, statements, and policies. Uh, I just I think that's worth noting. Again, I link to those lawsuits and 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 articles where I cover those uh, in the article over at lunduke.locals.com. Now. Considering the size and visibility of Netflix, I would be surprised if we don't see similar such legal action emerge over the coming months. I, I just, there's so much material out there where Netflix is very, very pro discrimination and racism. It would be very weird when you see these sorts of comments come out. I, I, I don't know how a, a, an employee looks at that and says anything other than, I, I'm going to sue. <laughs> Just I, It's such an easy case to win. Uh, I, I digress. Um, on the positive side, I, I want to I I touch on something positive that came out of all this, though. 
It's nice to know that there are people within the tech industry who don't support that sort of overt racism and bigotry in the hiring of people to work in computers. After the primogen made his statement regarding Netflix there, he had the following thing to say, and I'm going to quote you exactly on this. Quote, call me old fashioned. Anytime someone starts with call me old fashioned, I'm in, I'm in right away. Okay, Call me old fashioned, but I think it's really bad to consider the quality of a candidate based on their skin color. Amen, brother. I just think that that's a bad, like, I like, I think people bring a lot to the table and I'd rather see someone who brings a lot to the table and I just don't really care about anything else. End quote. Yeah. Yeah, yes, 100%. That right there is called meritocracy, right? You hire the person based on their quality, right? What they bring to the table, their experience, the, the cut of their jib, their character, their, uh, their, their technical skills, what they, how well they would work with the, the products and the teams that you've got in place, right? It, you hire the right person for the job. What skin color do they have? Does it does it matter? It shouldn't matter. I don't care what skin color a person has. Not even a little bit, right? Like, I just don't see how it enters into the hiring equation at all. Like, hmm, what part of the world were your great-grandparents from? Like, how does that matter when I'm hiring a dev? I just don't understand that. And so, kudos. Kudos to the Primogen for making that simple, positive, obvious, and extremely not racist statement. I, I, I like that. I want to see more of that in the world. That's wonderful. That's totally wonderful. And of course, me coming out and saying, hey, I sure do like it when people are not being racist and about the primogen being not racist will cause a whole bunch of crazy people to now start screaming at the primogen. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. The world is weird. Uh, there's a pic, there's a little tiny picture of the primogen. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, guy. If uh, people yell at you based because I said something nice about you, it is what it is. Um, but here we go. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens now uh, in relation to Netflix. Will we hear more from employees, both past and current within Netflix with similar stories? Uh, will we hear a response from Netflix? Uh, what will Netflix's hiring practices be like going forward in light of lawsuits happening within other tech companies because of the things that Netflix are doing? Like, I, it'd be interesting to see how they respond going forward. Obviously, they're probably not likely to, to issue any sort of formal statement to the Lunduke Journal because that... That's just the way of things, uh, but uh, we'll keep a close eye on them just the same. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes, across the inner tubes, I do declare, end broadcast.